right, Marcus, this is uh, the first of your arm exercises, your deltoid being completed. It's the standard barbell curl. Most people in the world do not have a Nautilus curl, which is what I prefer, as many people know. So we're going to use a standard straight bar barbell curl. Never use an easy curl bar, because the easy curl bar does not work the bicep, but the brachialis on the side of the arm between the bicep and the tricep. Now you notice his hands are spaced equidistantly. One's not too far, one's not too close. He made sure of that from the start. Now without any hitching, he has a perfect curl. Look at those arms. At the top, there's no resistance, so there's no need to do a static hold. He's gonna go four seconds up, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, well, that's four and a half. Take a deep breath at the top and go down slow. And again. Very good. Your biceps look like they're ready to explode. Come on. Who was it that said, when the going gets tough, the tough get going? Oh. Richard Nixon. Oh. That should motivate you. Come on. Oh. Marcus, get, get even more motivated. The more it hurts, the more it's going to motivate you. That last rep where you're trying as hard as you can and you barely make it. That is what turns on the growth mechanism what's inside the body. That last almost impossible rep where you're gritting your teeth, you're shaking all over, you need assistance. That rep is very special. That rep is very different. There is something going on inside of his body right now. Put it down. Come on, baby. Come on. All right, you need it for it. That's good. That last, almost impossible rep where you're gritting your teeth, you're shaking all over, is very different from every other rep in the set. It's very special. There is something that goes on inside the body on that last, almost impossible rep that is literally responsible for flipping on the growth machinery inside the muscle. Very good set. Thank you, Mike. All right. Now let's go to triceps, get some water if you need it. Please. All right, Marcus, you did your lateral deltoid, your rear deltoid, your biceps. Now let's conclude with a properly executed superset for triceps. You already warmed up the triceps. Now you're going to go to failure on the press down, the isolation exercise. Yes, you keep the arms in tight. Let the hands come all the way up until the arms are curled very tight. Without any jerking, you just move it down. That's perfect. There's no momentum at all in that particular rep. That was literally class book, text perfect. Very good. You have a hell of a pump when this one's over. Not that the pump is the most important thing in the world, but it does feel good. And there is something to say about feeling good, isn't there? Oh. Yeah, very good. Very good. Keep that same form. Keep your elbows in tight. Very good. Here comes your growth rep. Those are all preparatory. They're warm-up reps. If you stop now, you wasted your time. You didn't turn on the growth mechanism. It's too easy for you. You can already tolerate it. Come on. Uh, uh, I didn't help you. Take a deep breath. You're thinking your favorite girlfriend standing here in the nude, titillating you. If you have to, whatever it takes, do it. Come on. Get it down. Get it down. 
Now lock the elbows hard for five seconds, getting a good static contraction. Two, one, now up slow because you have greater negative strength than you do static. Yes, that's very slow, showing that you have more negative strength than you do static. You've got to work all three levels of your muscular ability when you work out. Very good. Now let's go over here to depths. All right, Marcus, come on. Run over here as fast as you can and make it a true superset. Get your belt on. Yes, you're quite coordinated, I can see. God damn it, hurry up. Go. Lock the elbows. You want a full muscular contraction. That is literally what the science of bodybuilding exercise is about. It's about achieving full, high-intensity muscular contraction. Obviously, the only place you can achieve a full contraction is in the fully contracted position, provided you've got enough weight. Down, get it down, get it down, get it down, get it down. Lock the elbow, take a deep breath, come back under control. Don't lose it now, it's your last exercise. Give it everything you got, even if it hurts a lot. Hold it. All right, that's enough. Put it up under control. Viewers don't make the issue of going to failure complicated. If you can do one more positive rep completion in proper form, then that's it. I get phone calls, faxes, emails, letters every day from people wondering what it means to train to failure. You've seen it in many instances here tonight. Marcus, that was a great workout. Thanks, Mike. I'll see you in what, six days or eight days? I think it's gonna be about eight days. Okay, very good, A plus. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Whew. All right, Marcus, we just completed three separate workouts. Workout number one, viewer, you may recall, was chest and back. Workout number two was legs with leg extensions leg press, leg curls, and calf raises. Workout number three was the lateral deltoid, the bent over lateral curls, triceps, and press downs. Workout number four, as described in heavy duty two, mind and body, my magnum opus, if you will, uh, includes legs. Legs are part of the fourth workout. You've already seen the leg extensions. You know how to do them properly. I just want to have you gain a keen understanding of the proper form while doing squats. And Marcus will do that right now without going to failure. You know what going to failure is by now as well. But I want the beginners, especially, who are confused about proper exercise form, and maybe some of you more advanced people who think you know, but you're missing something, get, gain something meaningful from watching Marcus perform these squats. The bar is on the upper back, right below the nape of the neck. Hands are out wide, feet are out wide, chest out, head up. All right, continue with a few more markers to show, again, especially the beginner, the proper form in the squat, because like with the deadlifts, the squats too are great overall growth stimulators, but there's also a risk factor here too, like with the deadlifts. It's imperative that you learn how to squat properly and learn to love the deadlift and squat as they are undoubtedly the greatest growth stimulators of all. You see he goes down to parallel, slightly lower, and comes right back up, never stopping again in the extended position. Come right back up, take a deep breath. You're getting close to failure. Let's pretend a little bit here. Is that a rough day? All right, come on up. Fight it, fight it, you mangy coward. Come on, one more. Ah. All right, that's good enough. Just press it over your head, show them how strong you really are. Yeah, 
Very good. That was good.